Good evening. Good evening. I hope everybody is doing well. I am here this evening and uh, I am looking forward to making and showing you how to make the Tina, I call it Tina Colada. Tina Colada, Tina Colada. Sound good, right? I thought so. So I was looking for a drink that was low in calories and low in sugar. And I was trying to figure out how to mix something up fun without all the orange juice and all the added items that I didn't want to have to deal with when I'm at home enjoying a couple drinks. So I came up with this wonderful recipe. And before I get any further, I do want to apologize. I have two dogs, so hopefully they will behave. I have one who does like to bark and he is now currently trying to give me his ball. So hopefully that won't be a problem. Keep your fingers crossed. Um, so I came up with this little drink to minimize the orange juice with the sugars and the calories for myself. That was something that I was concerned with um, with my sugar levels starting to rise. So this is what I came up with and I have all sorts of stuff here ready to go. So I made in advance um, this lovely little thing is our Hawaiian pineapple sangria. Okay, so I steeped that in white rum. And how I did that is I just put um, my Hawaiian pineapple sangria in steeping sack. And I want to show you this tea in case you haven't picked it up yet. This one is, I believe, staying in the catalog, but I just wanted to let you know. Um, this was my substitute for the orange juice or the pineapple juice that goes into it. So I, this one does have 10 calories, but um, the amount of rum that I'm going to use is not going to be enough to really make a difference for the 10 calories. I'm gonna use like an ounce and a half, which is, I forgot to grab a shot glass, um, but a shot glass and a half, about a shot glass and a half of rum, that's all. Um, so I make them, and you can adjust the recipes as you feel needed. That's enough if you wanna to go to bed then don't pour. Um, and then the main point, arrow, you want to go to bed? I will put your butt to bed. Then lay down. The main tea that I am using is our Pina Colada Roibus tea. Now this tea is on the vault list, guys. Um, so if you want to make this, you're gonna have to pick this up before the 15th when that vault list goes away. Um, I like to keep it in mind as August 14th because I don't like taking any chances when I want something. So this is on the vault list. It will be going away. Don't know if it will come back or not. Um, we will keep our fingers crossed. But it's pina colada, there's no calories, and there is no sugar in this one, which is what I was hoping for. So I did already make a cup, but I wanted to show you the beautiful tea that it is, in case you haven't picked it up yet. So this is rooibos, that's what the red is, and there is fruit in there. There's a piece of fruit right there. So I made a cup of that. Um, it's one and a half teaspoons per cup and it takes four to six minutes to make. So I have that all set up and we're ready to go. Where'd my recipe go? So while we're doing this, I want you guys to keep in mind what alcoholic beverage is your favorite. Doesn't even have to be alcoholic, just adult. What adult drink are you enjoying? Um, what is your favorite? Because there is a giveaway today on here um, that was posted today for you to enter for a free 25 gram bag of tea. Do you want free tea? Go answer that question. Seriously, you need to get more tea. So my recipe talks about 
steeping this rum. I steep this a day in advance and I leave that tea bag in there. And to tell you the truth, I know those tea bags are biodegradable, but I leave them in here for like a week at a time. Sometimes I just forget about them and they've never fallen apart on me. So you're good to go if you leave it in there 24 hours, 48 hours, a week. I've done it. It's a no big deal. So that is all you do to steep your alcohol. You can do that with rum. You can do that with vodka. You can do that with tequila. You could do that with wine. You can do that with beer. You can do it with anything your little heart desires. So that, and then we need three fourths of a cup of the pina colada rooibos tea and half a cup, cup of coconut rum. Or I got rum on the brain. It's my birthday and I want to drink. Um, coconut milk. And to, so let's get started. I'm going to do three fourths cup. Wow. Making a mess. And it wouldn't be alive with me if I wasn't making a mess. I am going to use our, okay. So this is my mixer. And this is what he is barking me at me for because he saw me put them in here. Take. Whoop. Here's Eva. So I have ice in there. I am going to put, and this is hot tea. So you can make it and make it cold or you can make it hot and then go from there. So I'm going to put three fourths of a cup in. And then I am going to put half a cup of the coconut milk. And the nice thing about this rooibos tea is it's a two times steep. So once you make yourself one of these, you could make another one again afterwards. Just keep that in mind. It's a double for one, two for one. Okay, and I need to grab my shot glass because I forgot to grab that. And yes, I could eyeball it, but for video reasons. We will do this with the shot. And one, normally half, but okay. we'll go a little more. Shh. Don't tell anybody, because like I said, it's my birthday. All right. So I just put that all in the mixer. In the shaker, put the lid on, and Arrow is standing here thinking he's gonna get ice now that I put alcohol in there. He ain't getting none of this ice. And I just shake it on the ice. Just to try to mix it up, get things going, I'm gonna grab a little more ice for in my pina colada cup. And that has drawn the attention of the dogs. So guys, if you are looking, whoop, you almost caught that one. So if you are looking to place an order, make sure you talk to your consultants. Um, they have the ordering links for you um, to go ahead and get these orders placed before they run out. I mean, um, they, the, the date is August 15th and it's gone after that, but if they sell out beforehand, we don't know when or how the stock is. So if they sell out beforehand, they could be gone. So keep that in mind, guys. Um, make sure you talk to your, your consultants. And, uh, if you do place an order, go ahead. And if you happen to order at $65 or more, you know, there is that awesome, awesome customer exclusive going on. Dude, I am going to be so broke after August. I'm going to buy all of this stuff up because this is our customer exclusive for $20.25. 
you get a full bag of the exclusive Naturally Sweet Vanilla Earl Grey. It's an oolong and it is absolutely delicious. And then you get a full bag of our best selling Naturally Sweet Peach Tea. That is our nat that is like our top seller right now. And if you guys are looking to book some parties here with, uh, you know, after the 15th, it's going to be a big, big time. Keep that in mind, guys. Here's the August exclusive for the hosts. You get three amazing, amazing, delicious bags of matcha. Let me tell you, there's two, there's three. All of them are delicious, guys. And believe it or not, you can mix matcha with your drinks and make some wonderful tipsy drinks with matcha. And these ones would be awesome because they're fruit lemonade ones. We've got the blueberry lemonade mm -mm. and the strawberry lemonade. Oh, think of making like a strawberry daiquiri with that. Ooh, that would be good. And then we have the sweet passion fruit lemonade. Let me tell you, I make that in my milk in the morning. And that reminds me of the Fruity Pebbles when I was little. Amazing. Okay. So, Arrow, calm down, buddy. So, now that we've shaken this up, it's chilled a little bit. I have ice in my cup. We are ready to go. And I am just going to pour that right over the ice. Check that little... Check that out. And I like to make mine a little fancier. No, I don't know which container. This is, okay, buddy, I know you're excited, but calm down. I don't know which one's empty. Pretty it up with some whipped cream. And again, I use non-dairy almond milk, which is 10 calories for two teaspoons. So I do splurge a little bit. You don't have to if you don't want to, but Try to figure out the amount of calories and sugar in here. I think sugar-wise, it's whatever is in. Arrow, do you want to go to bed? Then quiet. There's less than one gram of sugar in the whipped cream. And the calories is 10. 40 for a cup, so 20 calories in the milk because it's a half a cup. And there's still some in here yet to drink. So I am like doing really good. Um, I'm doing good on my sugar and calorie intake. Do you want to go to bed? Then go lay down. And I have arrow. That is enough. Come. You're not getting any more ice. Come. And I have myself a birthday drink. Happy birthday to me, and I hope you guys have an amazing evening and enjoy all that we have to share with you here over the next couple days and all the teas. Take advantage of all those before they go to the vault, and I hope you enjoy them. If you ever have any questions on anything to make, ask your sipologist, and I am sure she will have a delicious recipe just for you. All right, have a great evening, and we'll talk to you guys later. Thank you so much for stopping by. Take care.